at Biomakers, I get so excited about what we do because we're supporting the agriculture industry with biological information and insights that we haven't had historically. So Biomakers is a technology company. We use DNA sequencing to parse apart the bacteria and the fungi in the soil. And then we use artificial intelligence and computer learning to map the ecology of the soil and deliver functional assessments on what the biology, what biology is in the soil and what the biology is doing. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Joachim and I'm an agronomist at Biomakers. And my name is Marie Mullins and I'm an account lead with Biomakers. Today we're going to answer some commonly asked questions uh, by our clients. So there are three primary use cases for the bee crop technology. Uh, one is bee crop tests. So that's when we're working with farmers, agronomists, uh, retailers to diagnose issues in the field or support and company uh, chemical fertility analysis. So bee crop tests, we're pulling together um, the, the biology in the soil and looking at all of the digital functional indexes that are going on today in field, pairing that with the chemical fertility analysis and being able to uh, see how old things are functioning together. So that's the, the bee crop test. So that's one use case for the technology is informing management practices on farm. Uh, another use case for the technologies are bee crop trials. So bee crop trials, we're working primarily with ag input manufacturers, sometimes farmers and retailers too, if they have products that they're really interested in understanding or management practices that they're really interested in understanding. And what we're doing in that case is running either commercial or small plot field trials that are replicated. And we're looking at a control versus a treated block over space and time to identify how certain products are changing and influencing the soil biology from T0 to T1 uh, over time. And what that does is helps an input manufacturer or a retailer validate the mode of action of their products and understand exactly what their product is doing. So we're taking field trials beyond just looking at yield. We're looking at the deeper layers of how the products are actually influencing the soil biology and influencing the biochemistry and the hormone production, the stress adaptation in the soil. So bee crop trials help to differentiate biological products by helping validate that mode of action that we talked about. So most field trials historically have collected yield data and a lot of products produce and can show that they, you know, have a 5% yield bump or a 10% yield bump, but they don't happen in they don't always happen in all the conditions, and a lot of folks are starting to ask why. Why is there a yield bump? Where, you know, especially future generations are asking more and more for data and validation of like why things are happening. So folks will add our layer of data onto their existing trials. It overlays really nicely, and it helps you differentiate because you're you're validating the mode of action that exists. So like what exactly is going on in the microbiome? Why is your product producing a yield bump? Is it increasing phosphorus solubilization to increase phosphorus use, utilization on farm? Is it increasing nitrogen cycling? Is it a really multi-species diverse product that's doing all of those things? And you can prove that by using the bee crop trials and looking at how your product is actually influencing different biological indexes in the soil beyond just saying your product produces yield. So that's how we're helping, you know, helping different biological manufacturers and, and product manufacturers validate and differentiate their products in the marketplace. And then the third use case is our bee crop rate. And what bee crop rate is, is looking at uh, entire farm operations and how they are functioning as a whole ecosystem and how the diversity is, the biodiversity, the sustainability, the climate resilience of the farm. And so bee crop rate really is, it can be utilized with large food companies or uh, even farmers that are trying to understand how their operation is doing relative to its potential. 